Hello. Welcome back to Dr. K. Prem Primer video lecture series presenting by Dr. K. Prem. In uh, today's lecture, we'll talk about uh, CDNA synthesis. C D N A synthesis. C stands for complementary. Let us see the definition of uh, CDNA synthesis. The conversion of eukaryotic mRNA into DNA using a reverse transcriptase and the DNA generated in that process are complementary to the initial mRNA. Hence, the DNA is termed as cDNA. cDNA. So here, eukaryotic mRNA is converted into the DNA. The DNA being synthesized in that process is complementary to the mRNA molecule. Hence, that DNA molecule is called as a cDNA. 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 Complementary DNA. Because it is synthesized by using the mRNA molecule. Right, where we have employed the reverse transcriptase to process this uh, reaction. Reverse transcriptase catalyzes the in vitro synthesis of DNA by using mRNA as a template process is called reverse <coughs> transcription. Here, Reverse transcriptase catalyzes the in vitro synthesis of DNA by using mRNA. That process is called as a reverse transcription. As you all are aware that the central dogma theory states that genetic information flows from DNA to RNA, RNA to protein. Right? And the synthesis of RNA from DNA is a is a transcription. What is a transcription? Synthesis of RNA from DNA, where you know RNA polymerases are involved in the process. Here, quite opposite to the transcription. In transcription, DNA to RNA, but in reverse transcription, RNA to DNA. So reverse transcriptase is a DNA, RNA dependent DNA polymerase. RNA dependent DNA polymerase. Reverse transcriptase is a RNA dependent DNA polymerase, which can use the RNA as a template to synthesize the DNA, which is quite reverse to the transcription. Hence, this process is called as a reverse transcription. Generally, the DNA is prepared in the laboratory, which is different from the eukaryotic genomic DNA by not possessing the intron sequences. So cDNA and the genomic DNA of eukaryotes, if you compare, eukaryotic genomic DNA have both introns and exons, but the cDNA have only exon sequences, not the intron sequences. Full length cDNA can be inserted into a suitable expression vector and get, and can get the corresponding functional protein by using E. coli and yeast model systems. The cDNA which you synthesized from the mRNA, isolated from the particular condition, right? That cDNA directly can be cloned into the suitable, ve suitable expression vector, and you can get the large quantities of the protein. You can get the protein of that, that cDNA or ORF, right? Then the protein can be used to assign the function. What is the function of the gene? 
is all depends on the what is the protein which is uh, synthesized, right? If you know the protein uh, function, you can attribute the same thing to the gene. And the protein can be used to, you know, to know the structure of a protein. If you have high quality, huge amount of protein, and you can make crystals out of it, and you can uh, predict the, you will be knowing the structure of a protein, right? So this is what is about uh, cDNA synthesis. In the next slide, you will see the process of uh, cDNA synthesis. So what is required main here to synthesize the uh, cDNA? One is the mRNA molecule. That's a eukaryotic mRNA molecule. First, you can isolate the total of RNA from the eukaryotic cells. From that, you can separate the mRNA molecule or you can use directly. So the eukaryotic mRNA molecule have two important features that uh, they're, they're different from the uh, prokaryotic. They are fibrin cap and a poly A tape. You can see here. So this is a eukaryotic mRNA molecule here where it is having the fibrin cap and the poly A tail at the three prime end. So poly A tail of the mRNA you know, very, very important in the cDNA synthesis because we are going to use the oligo DT primer, oligo DT primer, which can bind the, which can bind to the poly A tail of mRNA, right? Poly A tail. So oligo DT primer. So the primer, which is uh, oligo DT primer, can bind with the poly A tail of mRNA molecule. So the because A and T are complementary, so that oligo DT primer annuls with the poly A tail of mRNA. You see, annuling forming a hydrogen bonding between them. Annuling of oligo DT to poly A tail of mRNA. Then if you supply reverse transcriptase, which has the ability to use the MR, RNA as a substrate to synthesize the DNA and uh, DNTPs. So re reverse transcriptase and DNTPs. Then you get a, then you get a cDNA molecule plus mRNA molecule hybrid that is called as mRNA or RNA and cDNA hybrid. So reverse transcriptase, once uh, it, 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 it will synthesize the DNA from by using the mRNA, right? And you get a RNA and cDNA hybrid. So you want to separate the mRNA or RNA molecule from this hybrid and that complex, if you expose to the alkali treatment means high pH, then the high pH or alkali can specifically degrade the RNA molecule. So alkali treatment which hydrolyzes the mRNA molecule. So you, here is the hybrid molecule of uh, cDNA and mRNA. When it is exposed to the alkali treatment, then mRNA molecule is specifically degraded. You see, it is degraded. So from that complex, you can purify the first strand cDNA synthesis, first strand cDNA molecule, and you get a single strand uh, cDNA molecule. That's a first strand. And to this, uh, you want to synthesize the second strand, which is complementary to this one, you need a primer, right? So again, uh, you can add, uh, you can, by using the terminal, deoxynucleate transferase, you can add the a specific homopolymer at the prime end of cDNA molecule. Here, we are adding the poly C polymer at three prime end of the cDNA molecule, right? You can see we are, we are providing the only DCTP and the terminal deoxynucleate transferase. This enzyme has the ability to add the any nucleotide, any nucleotide 
at the three prime end of uh, substrate that's a dna molecule so stepwise addition of uh, uh, dntps at uh, three prime end of the dna molecule you can see stepwise addition of dctp at uh, three prime end of uh, uh, first strand cdna molecule right so you have first strand cdna molecule with the poly c or oligo c added at the three prime end now to synthesize the second strand you can add oligo dg molecule oligo dg molecule that oligo dg uh, primer will uh, bind to the uh, oligo C at three prime end of uh, cDNA molecule, right? You see, add oligo DG, then it will bind to the oligo C at three prime end of first strand cDNA molecule. Now you can use the clean off fragment, that's a larger fragment of a DNA, you call it DNA polymerase or DNA polymerase and DNTPs, and you get a second strand cDNA molecule, you see? You can add the clean fragment or DNA polymerase of E. coli and DNA TPs and uh, magnesium, then the clean fragment can synthesize the second strand of uh, cDNA. This was second strand cDNA, right? And uh, now you are ready with the double strand, strand standard duplex cDNA molecule. This is how you can synthesize the uh, full length uh, double strand cDNA molecule. In the next slide, we'll see the flow chart of the same thing. Isolation of total RNA or mRNA isolation, one to five micrograms. And uh, RNA is incubating with the oligo DT primer, DNTPs and reverse transcriptase. Then oligo DT primers hybridize with the polyatales of mRNA. Reverse transcriptase catalyzes the synthesis of first, catalyzes the first strand cDNA by using as a RNA as a template. mRNA and cDNA hybrid is subjected to the alkali treatment where mRNA is specifically degraded, then you can purify the first strand cDNA. The first strand cDNA is incubated with the Terminally deoxynucleotide transferase and uh, DCTP, only one single nucleotide, so that uh, terminal deoxynucleotide transferase catalyzes the stepwise addition of uh, DCTP at uh, three prime end of uh, cDNA molecule. So first strand uh, cDNA will have a uh, poly or oligo DCT at uh, three prime end. Then the first strand cDNA with the oligo C at three prime end are incubated with the oligo DG primer and DNTPs and the clean off fragment. Then you get a uh, oligo G oligo DG primer binds to the first strand cDNA at three prime end, and the clean off fragment catalyzes the second strand cDNA and the full length double stranded cDNA molecules are. So this is how, how you can synthesize this cDNA. So hope you like the lecture. If at all, try to subscribe my channel. That's uh, Dr. K Prem Primer. And uh, if you have any issues, write to me through the comment section and I'll get back to you once I see. Thank you all for listening. See you again until then. Bye-bye.